Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should definitely consider hitting subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on this excellent kind of content in future. And of course, if this is not your first time on the channel, welcome back. For today's video, I once again find myself in a very privileged position. I've been lucky enough to receive a couple of boxes of Ancient Guardians to open for you guys on camera. That's right, Konami was excellent enough to send me two boxes of Ancient Guardians. So for today's video, I'm going to be cracking these open for you so you can see exactly what is in this brand new set. Now we do have some of the information on this product ready and available for you and I'm just going to quickly run through it for you now. So Ancient Guardians is a 60 card booster set and introduces not one, not two, but three brand new strategies for us to take into the duel. And on top of that, we're getting some reprints which will go ahead and support those excellent new strategies for us to try out. We've got a brand new graveyard based strategy which in and of itself is guaranteed to be broken. And I'm led to believe that this revolves a little bit around reptiles. Of course, that would just be speculation from myself, but we're hopefully going to find out when we get stuck in. On top of that, we've got Pendulum Support. That's right, it looks like we've got a brand new Pendulum-based archetype to play with, including some reprints which are going to go ahead and make that strategy even more insane. And lastly, there's a brand new entry called Ursarctic, and hopefully I've pronounced that correctly. And they are based around Synchro Monsters, but not in the way that we know them. These three brand new strategies will no doubt take the game by storm. Now if you watch this video and you're feeling inspired and you want to go ahead and get yourself some of those boosters, the 6th of May is the release date when you can get your hands on some Ancient Guardians and boost all of your favourite strategies. But that's enough waffling on from me. Let's get stuck into the pack openings. Okay, so as promised for today's video, we are taking a look at Ancient Guardians, the set that is due to be released on the 6th of May. Now again, personally, I'm really excited for what could possibly be in here, and we're going to go ahead and crack these open for you soon. Hopefully we'll pull a Collector's Rare, that would be absolutely insane. I would love that, that'd be my first time ever pulling one out of a booster pack, so I'd love to be able to do it for you guys on camera. So, fingers crossed, we all get exactly what we want to see. Now I'm just going to go through these a box at a time, there is plenty for us to see. Once again, my trusty RAM module coming in here. I work with computers outside of this, so I always get a little bit of fun by having those kicking around. And they, they're helpful because I'm really not very good at opening these boxes. Anyone who's seen my content will know how bad I am at opening these things. So, once again, Ancient Guardians is exactly what we're looking at here. Hopefully that's clear enough for you guys. Unfortunately, the focus isn't insane on this camera at the best of times, uh, and the lighting's not fantastic. But hopefully you can see exactly what is going on there. So again, these look like our three new strategies on the front here. I believe this is the synchro-based one. This is the pendulum-based one. And this is the one that I believe may be reptile-based. But we'll go ahead and take a look and see exactly what is in here. Oh, I just love opening packs. It's the best sound in the world. Okay, so let's get our boosters out. And see exactly what we get. Let's dig in, shall we? Oh, listen to that sound. Best sound in the world. Okay, pack one. Here we go. Let's see it. That must be the new archetype's name. Resolve Accord. A little bit of a mouthful, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Ignite Reload. Interesting. Ignites are uh, definitely playable as well with um, Infernoble Knights as well. They've got a bit of synergy there. Osarctic Quint. Quint Charge. Snake Crane Reprint. This is kind of cool, actually, because I don't think there's so many print-ins. This is quite hard to get hold of. Viper's Rebirth. Okay, so as suspected, this is going to be... A, uh, a reptile based one. Okay, Rise of Snake Deity. Old school. Old school. Maybe you want to put that into your strategy here. The old Venom cards. And also Arctic Slider. You know, you should see how messy my room gets when I open all these packs, but it's very, very worth it. Sulfur Chord Musica. Or Arctic Megatanus. This is a Beast Warrior. Interesting. Ogdoadic Calling. King of the Feral Imps reprint, nice. Damage equals Reptile. Dynoster Power, the Mighty Draco Slayer. And Osarctic Serpentron. This is the cover card as well. So let's have a look. So he's a Beast Warrior. He can't be Synchro Summoned. It must be Special Summoned from your extra deck by sending two monsters you control with different level of seven to the graveyard. 
One level 8 or higher tuner and one non-tuner synchro monster. Negate the effects of all face-up monsters on the field without a level that was special summon from the extra deck. If your opponent special summons a monster or monsters, except during the damage step, you can add one Arsarctic card from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. Nice, pretty cool. It looks really good as well, so it'll be interesting to see how that strategy works out. Anything that boosts synchros is always going to have a good amount of power in there. So pretty cool to get one of the cover cards already. It's a nice touch. Ah, let's see what else we get. Nice, Phenomenaga. I remember this from uh, the old GX days, actually. I really like playing the Venom stuff. There wasn't a lot of support, so it's nice to see some more Reptile cards coming about to make it a bit more playable. Uh, we've got more Pendulum Goodness. Wavering Eyes, nice reprint there. Really cool. Sulfur Chord Formal. Sulfur Chord Scale. Pot of Riches. Nice. Pot cards are always good. And Sulfur Chord Elegance. Right, next up, let's see it. Magister Paladin, the Ascending Draco Slayer. I was never around to play the Draco Slayer stuff, uh, but I know a lot of people absolutely loved it, so it's really nice to see some of this getting a reprint. Uh, Asarctic Megapolar, Luster Pendulum, classic. Dynarest of Pancratops, this is actually just a fantastic reprint, to be quite honest with you. It's always nice to see staples like this being more accessible for people. Uh, I know that it was a common, if I remember rightly, for when it when it was first printed in Soul Fusion. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see that getting reprinted, a really powerful card. Uh, Ignite Reload, Damage equals Reptile, and Osarctic Mikpola. I just love opening these, man. The sound of the packs opening is literally one of my favourite things in the world. Honestly, it never gets old. Uh, Light Serpent. King of the Feral Imps. Uh, this can go in Springens as well. It searches the uh, Sandy Sea Boy. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Trading. Evil Dragon Ananta. I think this was only printed in like premium pack or something like that a very, very long time ago. I know I had a secret rare somewhere. Skullmeister, this is a really cool reprint, just a very, very good hand trap. Uh, there's certain formats where this is absolutely insane, so very good to have in your collection. Zoa, the Ogdoadic Boundless. I've noticed as well that this is like dark. I think the other one's maybe light. Uh, Ogdoadic Water Lily. So one reptile monster from your deck to the graveyard. Then if you have five more reptile monsters with different names in your graveyard, you can special summon a reptile monster from your graveyard. You only activate one once per turn. Next up. Asarctic Megapolar, Offering to the Snake Deity, a nice reprint, Ogdoadic Hollow, Pot of Riches, Misophilacor, I can't say this very well, <laughs> Flogos Ogdoadic Guy, Asarctic Departure. So we're seeing plenty of support for these new strategies, so hopefully these are as insane as they look. Uh, I've got a good feeling about particularly the Synchro one. Very, very excited about that. I also think the Reptile one might be really cool as well. Ogdoadic. Okay, so Magister Paladin. Venomenon. Airs Rock Sunrise. Target one beast monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target. And if you do all face up monsters your opponent controls, lose 200 attack for each beast. Plant... And Winged Beast Monster you currently have in your graveyard until the end of this turn. You can only activate one Airs Rock Sunrise per turn. Nice. Dynarest of Pancratops. Asarctic Quint Charge. Offerings of Snake Deity. Sulfur Cord Elegance. You can activate one of these effects. Place one Sulfur Cord Pendulum Monster from your deck into your Pendulum Zone. Add one Sulfur Core Pendulum Monster from your hand to your extra deck face up, and then place two Sulfur Core Pendulum Monsters, one odd and one even Pendulum Scale, from your deck in your Pendulum Zones. Or you can add two cards, one odd and one even Pendulum Scale, from your Pendulum Zones to the extra deck face up, and if you do, draw two cards. That's actually really, really nice. Really powerful card. Could actually be a really, really good boost to that strategy and make, a, make another Pendulum deck playable again. And you know, Pendulum players out there, they are absolutely diehard. I don't need to name any names. We all know the famous ones. <laughs> and they, they love their Pendulum decks. They really do. They're, they're a certain uh, certain breed of uh, player, that's for sure. Snake Rain. Dinos to Power. Trade-In. This is a nice reprint. Ignis to Prominence. This actually looks crisp in rare, I must say. Sulfur Core Musica. Rise of the Snake Deity. And Osarctic Mikpola.
Asarctic Megapolar. Asarctic Mega... Mega Billis. I think this is the first one of these we pulled. Big boy. Look at him. Look at them claws. Sulfur Chord Musica. Wavering Eyes. Majesta Paladin. Flogos. Sulfur Chord Harmonia. Oh, they've got a field spell as well. Field spells always interesting to read because they're usually insane. So you can activate one of these effects. Add a face-up Sulfur Chord Pendulum Monster from your extra deck to your hand. Increase the Pendulum scale of one Sulfur Chord card in your Pendulum Zone by its level this turn. If you control the Sulfur Core Pendulum Monster cards with at least three different even Pendulum Scales or at least three different odd Pendulum Scales, destroy one card your opponent controls. Each effect is a hard one per turn. Very nice. Okay, so we're just coming up close to halfway through the first box here. Nice variety that we've seen so far. Very happy with this. Offering of the Snake Deity. Sulfur Cord Formal. Phenomenaga. Pot of Riches. Ignite Reload. Snake Rain. Sulfur Cord... Do Sulfur Chord, Cutia. So the Sulfur Chord stuff looks really, really cool. The artwork's nice and bright as well, which is something that I know a lot of players like, myself included, it looks really cool. Uh, Skull Meister, Ogdoadic Hollow, King of the Feral Imps, Ogdoadic Origin, Flogos, Sulfur Chord Formal, Nuaya the Ogdoadic Remnant. Okay, this is a big snaky boy, so let's see what this does. Big snaky boy. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Send one light reptile monster from your deck to the graveyard. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Ugnoadic spell or trap from your deck to your hand. You can use each effect once per turn. The artwork on this is absolutely insane as well. Really, really cool. Hopefully the camera does it justice. There we go, our snaky boy on the front. The fact that it's light and dark reptiles kind of scares me a little bit because, you know... Flashbacks to all kinds of Chaos decks, and we've had a lot of support as well in uh, in, in Toon Chaos and things like that as well that could really go into that deck potentially. Uh, Pot of Riches, Trade In, Light Serpent, Airs Rock Sunrise, Osaka Quint Charge, Luster Pendulum, Curse the Oagdic, Oagdoadic Light. I'm not very good at pronouncing these things, I'm sure I'll get it by the end of this video, hopefully. Okay, let's keep it moving, keep it moving. Azrock Sunrise, Viper's Rebirth, Lust of Pendulum, Ogdoadic Calling, Dinoster Power, Asarctic Megatonus, Asarctic Slider. I'm telling you, man, that sound never gets old, never gets old. Oh, I get it. It's like Do Re Mi, Solo Far Chord. Ah, oh, hey, finally, guys. We get it, we get it. Light Serpent, Asarctic Mega Ballas. Phenomenon, trade in, Reso Fola Chord, Aaron the Ug. Whoa, this dude looks cool. Aaron the Ugduatic King. If this card is in your graveyard, you can tribute two monsters to special summon this card. If your opponent adds a card or cards to their hand, except during the draw phase or the damage step, you can send a random card from their hand to the graveyard. If a monster or monsters your opponent controls are sent to the graveyard, except during the damage step, you can have one light or one dark reptile monster from your deck to your graveyard. To your hand, a deck or your graveyard to your hand, except for this guy. You can only use each effect once per turn. I like that they've kind of bottlenecked this so that it's mostly about getting your reptiles only because otherwise it's a get insane. But the fact that we've seen Snake Rain get reprinted in here means that this could actually be a very, very strong strategy to employ. And one that people have nice and easy access to, which is always a nice touch. I mean, if you guys go out and get your boosters of Ancient Guardians, who knows, maybe what you'll get. A nice collection of reptile boys. Wavering Eyes, Ignis the Prominence, Damage Equals Reptile, Zohar, Venomenaga, Rise of the Snake Deity, Alert the Ag Dark. I really like the artwork on these guys, honestly, uh, definitely a deck I may consider picking up for myself, in fact, just for the artwork alone. And the packs are starting to build up quite nicely next to me here, a nice mess I'm going to have to clean up afterwards. Uh, Evil Dragon Ananta. Skullmeister, Sulfur Chord Scale, Osarctic Megatonus, Viper's Rebirth, King of the Feral Imps, Nunu, the Ogdoadic Remnant. Let's keep it going, see what we get. Ignite Reload. There we go, that's a bit better with the focus. We have to tweak things a little bit there. So Zoa, Ogdoadic Calling. Ogdoadic Hollow, Snake Rain, 
Ogdoadic Origin. Salofa Cord Elegance. That's a bit better, isn't it, guys? You can see things a little bit crisper there. You will see it jutting about a little bit. That's because it's just auto-focusing. But it means you guys can actually read the text yourselves, which is always something that's nice to be able to do. Apologies, we haven't been able to get that quite right on here. Dynarest of Pancratops. Ignis of Prominence. Wavering Eyes. Rise of the Snake Deity. Luster Pendulum. Evil Dragon Ananta. Dosulfa Cord Coolia. There we go. Nice look at that one for you. Much better. Resulfur Cord. Dreamia. Osarctic Megabilis. Snake Rain. Magister Paladin. Sulfur Cord Musica. Dynaressa Pancratops. Sulfur Cord Harmonia. It seems pretty good so far as well because we're getting a good amount of each from each deck. Obviously, I don't know every card that's in the archetypes, but so far it seems like we're getting a good number of each card that we're pulling, which is obviously a nice touch because if you want to go ahead and build a deck, it's a really good way to go ahead and do that. King of the Feral Imps, Offering to the Snake Deity, Venominaga, Viper's Rebirth, Sulfur Cord Formal, Ignis the Prominence, Asarctic, McTarnus. These look really, really cool as well. I like the artwork on these. They look like big robot beastie boys. Magister Paladin. Ogdoadic Origin. Dynares the Pancratops. Misulfur Cord. Azrock. Dynast the Power. Curse the Ogdoic Light. Ogdoadic, Ogdoadic, Ogdoadic. Come on, say it with me. Ogdoadic, Ogdoadic. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it completely wrong and butchering that, so apologies if I am. You guys, I'm sure, will correct me if that's wrong. Damage equals Reptile. Phenomenon. Sulfur Cord Scale. Ignite Reload. Asarctic Quint Charge. Viper's Rebirth. Nuaya, the Ogdoadic Remnant. There we go. I think I nailed it that time. Nailed it. There we go. Nice close-up of that because we didn't get a very good look earlier. There we go. Beautiful. Genuinely love the artwork on these cards so far. Been very, very happy with the mix as well. Really cool. Rise of the Snake Deity. Asarctic Megatonus. Ogdoadic Calling. Damage equals Reptile. Oh, bit ahead of myself. Dinos to power. Resulfur cord dreamier. Alert the Ogdoadic Dark. Getting a nice close up for you guys so you can see exactly what this looks like. Really, really cool. I do love the artwork on those, genuinely. I can't stress it enough. Let's get it. We're going to get a collector's rare. I can feel it. Wavering Eyes. Sulfur cord scale. Pot of Riches, Asarctic Megapolar, Luster Pendulum, Ignite Reload, Asarctic Micpolar. Okay, so box number one down, box number two, let's go. Trusty RAM module here to save the day, be careful if you're ever doing something like this. You don't want to damage your cards, of course. Me, on the other hand, I'm fearless. Fearless! Fearless, I tell you. But I'm not very good at opening boxes, as you can clearly see. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Right, let's see it. Get out! See what I mean? Right, let's get it. I should really learn to have a bin here. Sulfur Cord Scale. Ignite Reload. Asarctic Quint Charge. Viper's Rebirth. Rise of the Snake Deity. Asarctic Megatonus. Nuaya the Ogdoadic Remnant. Let's alternate a little bit. We're going to go from one side to the other. Just, you know, mix things up a little bit. Wavering Eyes. Rise of the Snake Deity. Luster Pendulum. Evil Dragon Ananta. Resulfur Core Dreamia. Asarctic Megabilis. 
sulfur cord elegance. Phenomenaga. Viper's Rebirth. Sulfur Cord Formal. Ignista Prominence. Magister Paladin. Ogdoadic Origin. Ogdoadic Water Lily. Snake Rain. Magister Paladin. Sulfur Cord Musica. Dinaressa Pancratops. King of the Feral Imps. Offering to the Snake Deity. Asarctic Mikpola. Dinaressa Pancratops. Elitea. Airs Rock Sunrise. Dinosta Power. Damage equals Reptile. Phenomenon. Sulfur Cord Harmonia. Ogdoadic Calling. Damage equals Reptile. Dinosta Power. Resulfur Cord Dreamia. Wavering Eyes, still a very, very strong card. Sulfur Cord Scale. Osarctic Mictanus. I'm very, very interested to see how that Synchro strategy works. I know it's something to do with the difference between the levels. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually count as a Synchro Summon, to my knowledge. So, there may be some ways you have to play these things. But, you know, it seems really cool so far. Uh, so, Pot of Riches. Osarctic Megapolar. Luster Pendulum. Ignite Reload. Damage equals Reptile. Light Serpent. Curse the Ogduatic Light. Again, this Dark and Light Reptile strategy could be really, really tasty once we get into it. I'm very interested to see what people do with it. Uh, King of the Feral Imps. Sulfur Chord Musica. Trade in. Evil Dragon Ananta. Viper's Rebirth. Skullmeister. T Sulfur Core Beautia. I think this may be the first time we pulled this. Really, really cool. Looks nice. There are very many packs next to me. Ignis the Prominence. Magister Paladin. Rise of the Snake Deity. Azrock Sunrise. Luster Pendulum. Ogdoadic Calling. T Sulfur Cord Cutia. It seems like the Pendulum cards have got a good range of scales as well, which is a really nice touch. Something that's obviously very, very beneficial. Uh, the worst thing you can do is obviously lock yourself out when you've got your scales. It's the worst feeling in the world. Asarctic, Megatonis. Misulfur Cord, Elitia. Asarctic, Megabilis. Phenomenon, the bad boy. Resulfur Cord, Dreamia. Wavering Eyes. Asarctic Mikbilis. That's a big swole monster. Damage equals reptile. Zoa. Rise of the Snake Deity. Evil Dragon Ananta. Sulfur Cord Scale. Asarctic Megatonis. Sulfur Cord Gracia. Again, another one I don't believe I've pulled out yet. Now, it looks like their pendulum effects seem to be relatively similar, which is stopping your opponent from actually responding when they're pendulum summon, which is a, a really nice touch, to be fair. No solemns for you guys against the pendulum summon. Worst feeling. Great when you pull it off yourself, though. Zoa. Dinosta Power. Asarctic Megapolar. Offering to Snake Deity, Light Serpent, Ogdoadic Hollow, to Sulfur Cord Cutia. Pot of Riches. Trade in. Me Sulfur Cord Elitia. 
Flogos. Ignista Prominence. Magister Paladin. Asarctic Slider. Phenomenon. Phenomenaga. Ezrock. Dinaresta Pancratops. Skullmeister. Asarctic Quintcharge. Asarctic McPola. Offering to the Snake Deity. Oop, definitely too many there. Viper's Rebirth. Snake Rain. Dinosta Power. Asarctic Megabilis. Trade in. Ogdoadic Water Lily. It's always an exciting time when we get new cards like this released into the format. Just to see what people do, because people just always experiment with them. Things go absolutely crazy for a while. You know, people crack open a bunch of packs of these and see what they can pull and open and try and build decks. And it gets really innovative. It's something that I absolutely love about this game. I don't think you get it with many other games. So this is just, it's insane, an insane time to see stuff happen. So Luster Pendulum, Ignite Reload, Viper's Rebirth, Zoha. Ogdoadic Calling, Ignista Prominence, the Sulfur Core Cutia. Looks like there's an awful variety of decks going on at tournaments, which, you know, not 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 to everyone's taste, but to me, I absolutely love it. I just love the innovation that goes on. And uh, adding new cards like this to the pool will only ever entice that into happening. Ogdoadic Hollow, Snake Rain, Ogdoadic Origin, Dinaresta Pancratops, Me Sulfur Cord Elitia, Wavering Eyes, Asarctic. McTarnus. Let's see it. Let's see it. Dinosta Power. Luster Pendulum. Phenomenon. Resulfur Cordremia. Ignis the Reload. Snake Rain. La Sulfur Cord Angela. Again, another one that I don't think I've pulled yet, if I'm not mistaken. Again, you can't respond to the Pendulum Summon. Is it scale effect? Nice, nice, nice. Viper's Rebirth. Sulfur Chord Musica. Asarctic Megatonus. King of the Feral Imps. Damage equals Reptile. Venomenaga. Asarctic Polari. Okay, cool. This is the first one of these we've seen. My Sultra Rare. I believe this is one of the key cards for the strategy, actually. So we'll go ahead and, and read him out. So he cannot be Synchro Summoned. Must be Special Summoned from your extra deck by sending two monsters you control with a level difference of one to the graveyard. One tuner and one non-tuner. If this card is Special Summoned, you can activate one Asarctic Big Dipper directly from your deck. You can tribute one level seven or higher monster to add to your hand or Special Summon one Asarctic monster from your graveyard. You can only use each effect once per turn. So this is how you kickstart your plays. And I assume you just keep synchro summoning or special summoning because they're not technically synchro summons on the way up. So nice to see that in here. That's one of the key cards for the strategy, I believe. So very, very nice to pull that in here. All right, let's see what else we get. I wonder if we'll get any new cards that we haven't pulled yet. This will be interesting to see. So King of the Feral Imps, Asarctic Megapolar. Sulfur Chord Musica, Wavering Eyes, Flogos, Offering to the Snake Deity, Asa oh, hey, another new card, Asarctic Grand Chariot. Okay, let's see what this guy does. So cannot be Synchro Summon, must be Special Summon from your extra deck by sending two monsters you control with a level difference of seven to the graveyard. One level eight or higher tuner and one non-tuner Synchro Monster. If this card is Special Summon, you can target up to two other cards on the field and destroy them. Once per time, when a card or effect is activated, it targets an Asarctic card you control. Quick effect, you contribute one monster from your hand or field to negate the activation. Very cool. It looks awesome as well, I must say. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. I've got a good feeling about this box. It's off to a good start anyway, I believe. Right, Sulfur Cord Formal. Venomenaga, Deity of Poisonous Snakes. Ogdoadic Origin. Pot of Riches. Ignite Reload. Ignista Prominence, Asarctic Slider. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Snake Rain, Skullmeister, Rise of the Snake Deity, Ogdoadic Hollow, King of the Feral Imps, Evil Dragon Ananta, 
Losulfa Cord Angelia. That's the second one of them. And if there's demand out there, guys, if you do want to see more videos surrounding any of these archetypes, do let me know and I'll go ahead and cover them as best I can with what information we have when they're released. And hopefully we can get some how-to-play videos, some maybe some deck profiles up for you guys. So you can go out, pick up your boxes, get your cards, and then start to play. Ogdoadic Origin, Flogos, Asarctic Megabilis, Sulphur Cord Formal, Pot of Riches, Magister Paladin, Curse the Ogdoadic Light. It's all what it comes down to. Let's see what we get. Trade in. Light Serpent. Dinaressa Pancratops. Airs Rock Sunrise. Asarctic Quint Charge. Offering to the Snake Deity. Sulfur Cord Elegance. So there we have it, all these two boxes of Ancient Guardians cracked for you. Thank you very much to Konami for sending these out to me to crack these open on video for you guys in this Konami sponsored video. And that fellow duelist is all for today's video. Thank you very much for coming along. I do appreciate you being here. Hopefully by virtue of the fact that you made it this far into the video, you'll have hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on this great kind of Yu-Gi-Oh! content in future. And remember, if you want to get your hands on some Ancient Guardians, it releases on the 6th of May, 2021. But anyway, that's all from me today. Thank you very much for coming along and I'll see you in the next one.